did you guys hear about the EA loot box latest? A Dutch court charged them ten million in a fine because basically they ruled that it was gambling and they don't have a gambling license. <laughs> which is pretty funny. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with gambling laws, but having got back into gaming due to lockdown and coming back to it after nearly two decades absence, there are some, like the state of gaming is fucking abysmal on so many fronts. On some fronts, it's great. Some fronts, it's really good. But honest to God, I've got a long list here of the worst shit that I've noticed since I've, since I left, since the N64, basically. It's a generational thing, I think, because everyone I know that's like closer to our age feels the same way. Then people that have grown up with it kind of got used to it. Yeah. I agree with you. What's happened has been crazy. I know I have a friend who's been buying Fortnite skins for his son, paying real money so this <laughs> kid can have different. And like, God bless this guy. He's like, he's just trying to be a really good dad. But I'm like, I can't even fathom playing StarCraft as a kid and begging my dad to buy me a new skin for my for my tank or for my Diablo character. It just blows my mind. And the gambling thing is another level. I, I did some reading on it, and, and they tried the same shit in Canada. They ruled that it's not gambling because you can't actually cash out. You can't cash it out, but it is high value. So that's how, the, how it came about in the Netherlands. So, for example, Lionel Messi and FIFA. So you buy FIFA, right? The reason you buy FIFA and the reason it's the same game, a new game every year by the same company, is because they own the rights to all the player names. And yet, you don't have access to that player until you start buying this in-game currency. So you can, you can literally spend, I think it was a case of some guy, some kid who'd spent like $800 on the game and still didn't have the player that he wanted. <laughs> I mean, it's just this is like when kids would spend like hundreds on pay-per-view porn without their parents knowing that was a, that was an issue. And you had to lock it away from the kid. Well, that's what I was going to say about your friend, your your buddy with this kid. I mean, at least his kid is asking his dad for it. There's many cases where they just use the kid's credit card because they signed up once and, you know, and then they get this crazy bill. Um but yeah, I mean, the state of gaming is something I really wanted to talk about. But what do you guys think about this ruling and about the practice in general from EA? I feel like this is going to go to a dark place for me um, because this touches on so many things. This is why I hate gamers with an absolute passion. It is like one of the most toxic communities. I want to make sure I understand this. You don't listen these the gaming developing companies they're here to make money they're not here to provide you the beautiful gaming experience that you want to have if they can trick you into that in the meantime that's great but their goal is to make money so of course if you idiots keep buying the fucking loot boxes trying to get the the black ice skin on in rainbow six where there's a point zero 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 one percent chance of you getting it of course, they're going to keep putting loot boxes into the game. It's just competition. And if, if one company does it and they make $300 million, and of course, EA is going to put it in Battlefront because they want the same thing. It's like, it's like the airlines charging for, for luggage. Once one of them realizes that you're still going to fly and pay the $30 for luggage, all of them are going to do it. So, But what I don't understand is with gamers – you want if you don't like the loot boxes don't play the game yeah buy a different game they want but this is why i hate gamers they want to play their game their way this is why i despise them it's it's like it's like they want a product but they want it the way they want it yeah it's important to make a distinction here between children though and adult gamers anyone who's over the age of 16 and is making adult decisions then yeah stop bitching don't 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 buy these Turkish games. I totally get it. But when you've got children, and mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, it, it, there's look, we have a different set of rules for children than we do with adults, right? That's why, you know, kids don't gamble, kids don't drink, you know, all this kind of stuff. We have these different rules. So the, the I agree with you about adult gamers. Um, one hundred percent. Don't pay for the shit, and you don't get it. Um, but when it comes to it comes to children. That's the different question, right? And the, the defense that the chick from EA, the, the one that they trotted out at the trial, 
or whatever it was the hearing she said well they're not they're not loot boxes they're surprise mechanics you know she, she rebranded it do you consider loot boxes to be a, an, an ethical feature of your games Kerry? Well, first, we don't call them loot boxes. I think that was... Whatever term you wish to apply yeah, to them, so, do so, you consider them ethical? So what we look at as as surprise mechanics... Um, <laughs> Which is awesome. That's what a slot machine is. It's a surprise mechanic. How is it different from baseball cards? And Kinder Eggs. That's the point she made. Okay, well, explain it to me. Well, I think there's a slight difference there. I mean, you know, it's not like... And look, I'm not saying I necessarily disagree with you, but the difference is it's in your home and it's there 24 seven, as opposed to you go to the shop to buy baseball cards and you have to have cash. And there's, you know, that kind of thing. That's a slight difference. It's just, it's constantly in your home. So it's the same question about, um, look, ultimately this comes down to the parents. I agree with you. It, it ultimately but, comes but down I, to the what parents. What I'm baffled by this conversation is I thought I was talking to Massey Radfar. So what you I'm are. understanding for, am I, you want the government. No, never said that. Around the world. Yes, you no. do. that's what you're saying. You when did I? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm not saying that at all. You want the governments nope. around the world, from Belgium to China to South Korea to the United States to the <laughs> United Kingdom to Canada, regulating nope. the video game industry. That's not what I want. Johnny Pants sixty nine sitting in his mom's <laughs> basement, who's forty years old, doesn't like the fact that he's dropped eight hundred dollars of his government check. On fucking loot boxes <laughs> and doesn't have anything to show for it. No, Get we're the talking fuck about. Out of here. We're talking about. I never. First off, oh, I dude. never said that. I'm talking about just shady practices from companies, which I disagree with. That's what I'm talking about. We can't use the well, free we market the solution. You then, mean, like, yeah, how like, do you police we... people and what they buy? Well, first, all right, you don't want to know the answer to this. You two do not want the answer to this. The second I say, Sean will disconnect or Roman will disconnect. But get rid of IP, and then I can make FIFA. <sighs> Right. And I don't have loot boxes in it. Let's have an actual open market, an actual free market where I can have Lionel Messi in my FIFA game. And all of a sudden, EA has to be competitive because they don't own a license to it because it's just stuff written on a screen. That's what it is. So I want the, I want less government to solve okay. this problem. Let's 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 we can have an alternate podcast in that alternate universe where that you, doesn't exist as long as we're living it. in this as long as we're living in this universe <laughs> why don't we why don't we go from the premise that there is ip right and that we all have to live in the world with it and and go from not there if not if you're in china but fine kind of agree with with at least having the parent as long as the parent is doing it i guess that's fine because it goes back to the kid ordering a bunch of pay-per-view porn i remember i worked at rogers this like at a call center this like telecom here and like Parents would call all the time. They're infuriated because their kid got like a thousand bucks worth of porn back, you know, before like super easy on the internet. I think that's better. The adults are making the decision. Like if you want to get 800 bucks worth of you know, skins for your kid, that's on you. But yeah, there's got to be some kind of security. If you're a kid, you can't just go crazy. And, you know, because I, I do get it how it's like Pokemon cards. They used to get a pack. And the whole reason you buy it is like you hope there's a Charizard in there. You hope there's a high value card in there. Same with baseball cards. A Meowth. <laughs> I get why the kids like it, but I still have to go to my parents to get cash on seven to get the pack of Pokemon cards. So the whole like digitization, digitization of everything um, just makes it way too easy. So I'm not saying they got to regulate it and not let anybody buy shit, but add some like security measure so that parents are are doing it but the, the look the the argument will always be that the pa the parents don't want a parent they're basically saying well my right. kid's obsessed with it and you know yeah. one kid in school has got the has got lionel messi and then you know they bully each other and all this kind of thing. parents mm -hmm. are basically saying that they want the government to do it yeah they want the government it's esrb so it's a parenting issue it's not a company issue or a market issue or a legal issue it's just parents don't want to give a shit like what their kids are doing on these games. I think they're going to lose this case everywhere. I think that the that, that more and more cases like this is going to come down um, from the government against these companies. I just think that they, there'll be too much pressure. The Netherlands is particularly big on regulation. They're, they're heavily regulate Airbnb as well. Like that's just the way that's just the government in the Netherlands. But I think in the UK, they've tried a similar thing and they've lost. So I don't know how this is going to hold up in other places. 
Yeah. Do you reckon in the States, Sean, what do you reckon will happen there? I, I just, to me, it's the same old argument. It's parents don't want a parent, so they want the government to get involved. And it's a great thing for politicians to hang their hat on. Hey, we're protecting children and we're doing this. But my only question that I look at it is, yes, there is a gambling. Obviously, listen, these companies want to create a chemical reaction in your brain that, that will keep you on the platform, that keep you engaged, that keep you... The not knowing what you get, but that's this is no different than than what's going on on TikTok or Instagram. It's no different than when on Netflix it instantly rolls into the next the next the next episode. Like this is happening on every digital platform. Like we, we don't mind kids being on TikTok all day long with the exact same mechanisms in place to keep them on the platform, but but we're mad because they're they're get, what, don't give me your credit card, idiot. That's the issue. It's the it's the fact that they're paying for it. That's why they're annoying. And I know I'm the asshole. Yeah, your buddy's not a good dad. Don't buy your kid eight hundred dollars <laughs> worth of fucking Fortnite skins. You know what you're teaching him? You're teaching him nothing. I like the kid who has to work around his parents to get the porn. At least he's learning to be self sufficient. Going to your parent and being like, "Hey, dad, can you buy me the new Fortnite?" And he's like, "Son, I'm working. I'm on a Zoom call. Yeah, here's my credit card. Go." That's good parenting. He's a good get guy. He actually, that. I'm sure he is. I'm he's, sure he's awesome. He had a very strict dad growing up, and he's almost overcompensating by now letting his kid yeah, have all the things that he couldn't. Yeah, and I, it's almost I like the it. pendulum swinging in the opposite way because my mm -hmm. dad was be strict too, and he'd never be like, "Yeah, here's my credit card to freaking buy yourself a new axe in Diablo." You know, which, <laughs> by the way, before microtransactions, there was a black market for that shit. I remember being a kid. You go on eBay and you can buy gear for Diablo. It's just people have always wanted to do it. Games have just at the time not developers did not realize how much money they can make selling mm. in-game items, which is which sounded ridiculous at the time, but it is no different than like digital media. Well, it's also just the market though. Like some companies, I mean, EA got a tremendous backlash from their fans when they did it in Battlefront, which is really yeah. the case that really sort of sent this over the edge because Battlefront was basically, they were basically, okay, so when you're talking about cross-platform games, you're talking about an advantage in play, which is what infuriates gamers. So if you mm -hmm. tap, if you drop into Warzone and you've spent an extra $1,000, it doesn't apply because COD is kind of, circumvented it with the battle pass which i think is actually awesome have you guys seen this how does that work oh what is that so basically they just offer you the whole platform and you have to pay for it so you know what you're getting so every three months or so they offer an upgraded pass i'm gonna get some of this wrong because it's not exact and i'm not a, i'm not that deep into that world but i do like the game and i do play it so you can buy things individually and you can win things individually or you can just pay 20 bucks and get everything that's been released in that window of time. Does it make you better in the game though, or is it purely cosmetic? It doesn't make me better because I'm shit, but but <laughs> it makes, uh, it, I would say it's 95% cosmetic, different skins, okay. different weapons, different, but they're weapons yeah. that you could get if you played enough mm. or you bought enough other items, you could get it anyway, but it just gives you like the one-stop shop where you can pay the 20 bucks and you get all the guns. And you yeah. get all the skins and you get all the items. Only scenario I see where gamers actually rise up, and it, it sounds ridiculous even saying that statement, <laughs> is when, because gamers will never get up, but it, <laughs> when game purely releases things that make someone better, and then all gamers in the cheap seats that don't have the money or want to pay for that stuff will finally be like, we're not going to play this game because it's unfair. For instance, if it's purely cosmetic, I think people will go to town with it. I don't think it'll matter. They'll buy everything. Because then they'll justify it as like, well, it makes me enjoy the game more. It doesn't affect the gameplay. And the company gets paid either way. They've just announced the new Diablo game is going to have microtransactions. Uh, and everybody panicked because they thought, okay, well, that's not fair. You're going to buy a level 90 bow and you're going to merc everybody with it. But Blizzard assured everybody's going to be purely cosmetic. Blizzard. Uh... I mean, Blizzard's already, I mean, they're on EA's level pretty much in terms of the <laughs> shit that they're going to try to pull. So that Diablo announcement they did where they announced it on mobile is oh one of the God. greatest. They think that they literally think they're announcing a new iPhone. It's hilarious. I mean, we, we know what Sean's going to say. It's the, it's the whole market thing. It's like, if people didn't want it, they shouldn't be rewarding these companies with their money. And there's games I haven't bought 
because I just don't want to support the, the kind of gameplay mechanics that they made. Right. Yeah, I agree. But like, not everyone's going to think that. So it's going to happen for as long as people keep paying for it. Like, it's, it's very simple. I just don't want politicians. First of all, I would hope that you fucksticks have better things to do than, uh, than worry about loot boxes on Call of Duty. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in the Netherlands you don't. Maybe you guys are bored. That's how good things are in the Netherlands. Like, this is what they fixed. Yeah, as long as the Germans aren't, aren't arming up across the border, I guess you guys don't have anything <laughs> better to do. So, 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 yeah, so please go at it. But the last thing I want is politicians in the video game space. The same thing, the same reason that you don't want them in the music space. This goes back to like the 1980s with them regulating, you know, rap music and just get the fuck out of people's lives. Yeah, yeah. Entertainment software, rating board. Was it like George Carlin got dragged off stage for using uh, like words you, you were not allowed to use? Yeah. And with like Elvis, they're saying like Elvis shaking his hips was the devil. Frank Zappa used to debate with these people on, on um, Crossfire. It was amazing. He was like the, he became the spokesperson against the uh, you know the parental advisory, explicit lyrics. Those people, they just kept like quoting lyrics to him, and he's like, oh, okay. and you asked a question. You asked a question a minute ago about the states. So just a little, a little background. They're they're going the other way. It seems to me in the states. I mean, they're legalizing sports gambling now in every state on people's phones, on every app available. So I don't know how the argument in the States is going the other way from a gambling perspective. We're talking about two different things. We're talking about censorship and we're talking about gambling. But but in the States, they're making it easier for people to, to, to gamble. And this goes back to like playing poker online. They would parade out the one, you know, the anti-gambling people would parade out the one kid who got a hold of his dad's credit card and spent his, his tuition playing on, playing on poker stars. That kid's gonna do that either way. That kid, but that kid's gonna do that now with that kid's gonna do that now with sports gambling. He's gonna get his dad's credit card. He's gonna log in to to, to FanDuel and he's gonna lose, you know, thirty k betting on betting on the NFL. The difference is now the states are making money, so now they are not gonna care about that kid. I think it's also like underage drinking, where you know kids are gonna do it, so at least do it above board, so that they don't have to sneak around and steal the credit card and all that. At least it's out in the open. Well, we've always had a puritanical, a puritanical approach to gambling. It's like the thing in the closet. Everyone does it, but but let's just not do it out in the out in the public. Like it's always been that way, especially in the U.S. We've always had that mindset about gambling that we want it in certain areas under certain criteria. Yeah, we don't. We we understand that 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 you know, fifty million people are going to fly to Vegas every year. But 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 no, generally we're opposed to gambling. Shh, just shut up. They're all just hanging out at the pool bars in Vegas. They're not. They're not <laughs> right. gambling. Not doing anything. Yeah, people. Are, people are insane. I just don't want the government in the video game space. I mean, I knew we'd all agree on that that we don't want the government getting yeah. involved. I mean, we're all pretty. Are you sure? Free market. What, what? What is this accusation? You think that I'm for the government <laughs> coming in? How dare you? I think the government should step further out of gaming and let everyone copy each other's games. That's what I think. But um, I just thought it'd be interesting to look at. Since we talk, this is a, a business show, so just looking at some of the practices in these in these games, just from a just from a consumer's perspective, right? Like, so I bought. The it's new, always been an issue. I bought the new Street Fighter game, from which I had to buy on PlayStation. So I bought play, PS4. Uh, PS4. Bought the new Street Fighter game after like. So this is what my this is my experience of Street Fighter thirty years ago on Street Fighter Two. I bought Super Nintendo Street Fighter Two, plugged in. And I was playing within twelve seconds. This new one, I had to load everything off the CD, off the DVD, Blu-ray, and then it had to download the updates. And then once I started, I had like a thousand messages. Literally, I'm going to do a video on it. It's like at least 40. Just check. <laughs> yes, 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 I agree. You've also unlocked this. You chun these tits are bigger. You've unlocked that. Blank is gay. You know, you've unlocked that. All this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I had like 15 pages of like shit to read. Then I went into the game and there was like eight characters available and then like 40 characters yeah which weren't available. And then a new update mm -hmm. came on a few days later and I downloaded that update. And all the update had was all those characters had now shopping cart icons on them. So I was like, what the fuck oh is going God. on? It's taking, the game has to load. So loading times have gone up. Um, games aren't finished. They've got errors when they, when they get shipped. 
<laughs> games you have to pay yeah. to play pay to win i mean the gaming from the 90s to now is so shit i cannot believe it and it's like like you said roman kids who have grown up with it don't know the difference but if you've never lived through the golden era like you don't know it's literally missing. a golden like, era it was when games weren't connected to the internet that's what it was racing games are the same way yeah, yeah. you pay 60 bucks for a racing game but you had to buy the cars <laughs> it's fucking like, mental it's I mean, even if you get around, they're going to have new ways of generating revenue, right? So, you know, if we don't like the revenue model, that's that's fine. Fair enough. You know, that was enabled by the internet. But really, in every other metric apart from graphics, games have gone backwards. Yeah, the games are incomplete mm. when they ship them. Um, games, you know, they, they've got errors in them. Games, you have to download the entire game. You have to load it off a disc. And there's loading times. I mean, it's just unbelievable how shit gaming is now. And the games are actually quite good when you actually finally get through the bullshit to get to them. But holy shit, it takes a long mm. time. I'm sitting there adding up. You know, I'm already wasting my time playing games, but I'm wait on loading screens. I'm literally waiting, wasting time, waiting to waste time. <laughs> like, let's just go yeah, backwards. You're gonna, to, you're gonna have to buy to. You have to pay to unlock better graphics. You have to pay to get get uh, reflections. I will pay to downgrade the graphics so that I don't have fucking loading times. Give me my time back. <laughs> I When I'm on a game wasting time, I literally just want to be wasting time the way I want. To. Yeah. Anyway, rant over. Um, it's a longer conversation, but it sucks how bad games have got. No, it's a, perspective. but I, I, no, you're right. You, you're right. There are a lot of things that are better now though. Yeah. It's just the lack of self-awareness. This listen, this is a business show. So let's run through the cycle. The lack of self-awareness of the average gamer. Don't do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. Because when you do it, all you do is encourage the model to continue. You give the companies that make the money from the loot boxes more money. What do they do with the money? They develop more games and they market. Okay. Then those are the companies that then buy up the smaller companies that weren't doing it because you gave them the money. Take a look in the mirror. And if you think it's wrong or you think it's duplicitous, or you think it's ruining gaming, then eat your own dog food and don't do it. Sean, gamers don't look in the mirror. Don't buy those games, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> because what's going to happen is the companies that make $300 million from you guys buying the loot boxes, they're literally going to purchase the properties of the smaller companies that don't do it. So eventually everyone's going to do it. It, 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 it's, just, it's, it's just a fait accompli and the lack of self-awareness of gamers to take any individual responsibility about it just blows my mind. I refuse to buy anything once I purchase the game. The only the only game I've ever done it on was Modern Warfare because they basically laid out everything that I was getting. So I knew exactly what I was getting for my $20. And I was like, you know what? That's cool. I want to have that gun. I want to have that. I'm paying the $20 because I know I'm getting it. But I, I refuse to buy any... I'm not gambling on the I take it as a badge of honor that you have that I don't have I don't have the gun and I'm still going to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. Um it's slightly different when we're talking about children. I understand why people are concerned, but ultimately people don't parent their kids anyway. They pack them off to government schools and you, know, you you raise my kid and then now they're moaning like, "Oh, can you stop this company? You raise your kid properly. Just raise your kid properly." keep them away from this and if you've got the kids getting bullied at school uh, raise, i don't know raise your kid properly <laughs> i don't know what to tell you oh, if your kid's not getting that cool gun and cod he is gonna get bullied in school teach him to fight teach him to fight yeah i'm just gonna get fucked up <laughs> yeah yeah pull 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 him off of uh pull him off of doom and uh send him to jujitsu for an hour so i'll kill two birds <laughs> with one stone this sound like the joe rogan experience now Next thing, you're going to be bowing to Spotify. I can't believe you thought I was for the government regulating, Sean. How dare you? Roman, is that not what it sounded like? It sounded like he was taking a lot of glee in, in, in the Netherlands and their decision and I their thought position. thought it was heading that's in that what direction. It, that's what it sounded oh, like. I, I, take, I took glee in it 100%. I've got no problem with taking glee in it. I'm not for it, though. But I was like, yeah, that's pretty funny that it happens to EA. I mean, this is what this is just what's going to end up. At. Look, I'm anti-war, but if countries kick off, then people get what's coming from. It's like, like being anti-food. It's like being anti the sun. It's like being anti the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I can. I still find. I still think justice is quite funny. It doesn't matter where it comes. If people keep pushing, that other people are going to push back and use the state. I find that quite funny when it happens to a company like EA. Of course, I'm not for the government doing it, but I can still get amusement out of it. 
Now I've told you, get rid of all IP. This problem goes away immediately. Oh, or God. or raise your kids. What, you the... what is the other option? Raise your kids properly? I reckon people would be up for getting rid of IP rather than raising <laughs> their own children. Nobody wants to actually people raise their kids. That. If you made <laughs> yeah. a parent choose between getting rid of IP or raising their kid, I think we know. Gotta get rid of yeah, IP. I think everyone's going to get rid of IP. Are we, and yeah. that's, if those are the two, if those are the two choices, <laughs> was it Louis C.K. had that bit where he's like talking about um, gay marriage, and he said people will be like going, "How can I explain explain to my child that a man and another man are getting married?" He's like, "What? So these men can't be in love because you don't want to talk to your kid? What the fuck? <laughs> <Pretty funny. laughs> men can't be in love because you don't want to talk to your kid." Hilarious. This is pretty awesome. <laughs>